remembering cerebellar anatomy making you a little dizzy? Need some help telling your flocculus from your nodule? Well, here's some help with an anatomy video on the nine lobules of the vermin. Coming from anterior, the first lobule is the lingula. It sticks out in front of the vermis and is connected to the superior cerebellar pedicle. I can remember its name pretty easily because it has a very appropriate name, lingula, because it looks like a tongue sticking out of the vermis to lick the superior cerebellar pedicle. Moving clockwise, next is the central lobule. I can remember this because the central lobule is positioned exactly how a central lobule should be positioned in the driver's seat. The central lobule is located where the front driver's seat position would be if the vermis was a car, up front, looking out over the windshield over the lingula. The next lingula over is the culmen. I can remember this because culmen sounds like culminate, which means to reach the highest altitude. And that's exactly what the culmen is. It is the highest point, the culmination, the mountain peak of the vermis. Next is the declive. This is easy to remember because after we've reached the peak of the culmen, what else can we do? Well, we have to go down or decline, or some might say declive. The declive is the lobule that starts to go down after the culmen. Sadly, it looks kind of like our current stock market. After the declive is the folia. I can remember this because it does look like a thin fur branch or foliage with a thin stem and just a very thin layer of leaves. The tuber follows the folium. It's similar in position to the folium, except instead of being like a thin fern branch, it's much chunkier with thick nodules on it. So its name is easy to remember. Tuber means potato, and this lobule has a fatter, rounder contour, like a potato. As we continue around, next is the pyramid. This one is super easy to remember. It's triangular, like a pyramid, and hence its name. Hanging down from the bottom of the vermis is the uvula. It's easy to remember how they named this one. It hangs down from the vermis, just like your uvula hangs down from the roof of your mouth. Last is the nodule. I remember this because nodule sounds like nose, and a nodule even looks like a little nose pointing out from the middle of the vermis the same way your nose points out from right in the middle of your face. Okay, you might say. Now I can remember the names, but how am I going to remember the order? Don't worry, I've got your back. The vermis is very important for truncal balance, so, the mnemonic to remember the order of the lobules is about truncal balance. My mnemonic is let's count the cerebellar design for truncal posture and unsteadiness because that's exactly what the lobules are. They're the way the vermis was designed to help with truncal posture and unsteadiness. So now you know how to remember all the lobules of the vermis and even have a mnemonic to remember their order. So may your knowledge continue to culminate and never decline. If you like this video, you can like it or subscribe to see more. Also, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Teach Play Grub. Because what more is there to life than learning, living, and eating? Thanks so much.